Hi again folks, we are on to our third transformation. Today it is called dilations. So what is a dilation? Have you ever gone to the eye doctor and had your eyes dilated? That means your pupils actually get bigger depending on how much light they want to let in. So dilation is really going to change the size of the figure. So let's see what it says. A transformation that produces an image that is the same shape as the original, but is a different size. There you go. The original figure and its image are similar, but not congruent. So similar means it's proportional, right? We've talked about that, but it's not the exact same size. Okay. So a scale factor is the ratio of the new image to the original figure. It's always that order, new to original. Scale factor is the number that all coordinates are going to be multiplied by. Okay? So if the scale factor is greater than 1, so obviously if you're multiplying by 2, 3, 4, 5, then the image is going to get bigger. They call that an enlargement. All right? Now, if the scale factor is less than 1, so a fraction, a decimal, that's going to make the image get smaller. That's called a reduction. All right. So to the right is a graph of triangle ABC. See the original here? And its image, A prime, B prime, C prime, after a dilation with a scale factor of 2. So you can see the new image looks exactly like the original, but obviously is bigger. Okay? So what are the coordinates? A prime, we got 2, 2. B prime, or is it 1, 2, 3, negative 4, negative 2. And C prime, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 negative 4. Now, if you notice, every coordinate has been multiplied by 2. It said the scale factor was 2. Look, 1 times 2, boom. 1 times 2, boom. Negative 2 times 2, negative 4. Negative 1 times 2, negative 2. All right, so that's how you're going to do it. You're just going to do the math, multiply the coordinates. And this dilation is an enlargement. The scale factor was bigger than 1, and obviously the image got bigger. All right, so let's try this. Okay, it says graph and label quadrilateral ABCD with points. Here we go, negative 4, 2, that's A. Negative 6, 0 is B. 6, negative 5, this is quite the figure, is C and 6, 3 is D. Oh boy. Taking up the whole page here. Let's connect these. There we go. There we go. And straight up and down. Okay. Now, on the same set of axes, graph and label quadrilateral A prime, B prime, C prime, D prime after a dilation of a half. You know what? I am going to do the math first. So here's what I do. A prime. I figure out what the points are going to be. So we're taking a half of each of these. So what's a half of negative 4? Negative 2. What's half of 2? 1. What's half of negative 6? Negative 3. Half times 0? Boom. 0. Half of 6 is 3. Half of negative 5 is negative 2.5. And half of 6 is 3. Half of 3 is 1.5. Okay. And then we can graph it. So A prime, negative 2, 1. There you go. Mark it A prime. Negative 3, 0 for B prime. 3, negative 2.5 for C prime. And 3, 1.5 for D prime. So our figure should look 
similar, but just be smaller, obviously, because we multiplied by a half. And the question at the bottom there says, is this an enlargement or a reduction? Well, definitely a reduction, right? Because our figure got smaller. Does it look like the same shape? Yeah, it does. Yep. All right, very nice. Um, now to find the scale factor, remember I said before, it's always the new image to the original. Let's just write that. So it's always new image over original. You don't want to flip-flop those or you'll get the opposite, you know, enlargement or reduction. So if we look at this figure, where's the original? A, B, C. Ooh, it's the big triangle. See it? A, B, C. And the image is this little guy. So it's going to be a reduction. We better get a number less than one. So how long is the new image to the original? Well, they just gave us these numbers. So the new image is a three, length three. The original is this whole side. So it's actually 12. So the scale factor for this is a fourth. Does that make sense? Does that triangle look a fourth the size? Of, yeah, perfect. Okay, what about the next one? We're gonna go new to original. Which one's the new? Oh, this time the new is bigger. See the primes? So our answer better be bigger than one. What numbers are they giving us? I guess we could use these two numbers or these two. It really doesn't matter. I'll go here. So the new image is 18. The original was 6. 18 divided by 6. So it was a scale factor of 3. Ooh, picture not great, but the numbers work, right? 5 times 3, that gets you to 15. Okay. And one more practice, and we'll be good to go. Let me zoom out a little. All right, graph again, what is this supposed to be? A triangle, graph triangle ABC with those points and graph the image after a dilation with scale factor of three. All right, so one zero is A, negative two one is B, and negative one negative two is C. All right, so we got this little triangle here and again, I'm not going to, oh no, I went too far. I'm not going to try to do it in my head. I'm going to write down the points so I don't make a mistake here. So if we're doing a scale factor of three. That would be the A prime would be three zero. This would be negative six comma three, right? Because times three. And that would be negative three and negative six. Okay, so three zero, here's a prime. Negative six, three is b prime. And negative three, negative six is c prime. All right, let's connect these. Again, we should get a similar looking triangle, really in the same direction, but bigger, three times bigger. I think that looks good. All right, so again, another Cami homework. Hopefully you guys have as much fun graphing it as I do. Um, you have four of these to do and that's it. And it is due tomorrow. Please let me know if, you, if I can help you in any way and keep the questions coming. All right, bye guys.